in his career. 15-year pro, 32 years old. He gets it how he lives. I like that. He's going to fight. He's going to step up to the plate. He's going to take the challenges, and that's what a real champion do. Champion isn't always defined by a belt. It's a mindset and it's a mentality. Well, he is going to have his hands filled tonight. And now, his, his undefeated opponent making his way to the ring. He's got a big round contingent here Puerto Rico. Christian, El Hijo de Pueblo. It's been here oh my in gosh, arena. this is amazing. You would think we were in like yeah. Barclays or something. Puerto Rico in la casa, Puerto Rico. So Christian Tapia, a pro record of 11 and 0, 10 knockouts. So this will be very interesting to see how this one comes out. Tapia's last fight March of 2020. Oh, Fourth round knockout of Carlos Colon at Valley in Atlantic City. I don't know. He's showing up. He got a rapper and everything. I, I want a rapper. Me too. I want a rapper from now. Wherever I go, I want a rapper to leave my. When I play golf, I want a rapper to introduce me on the first piece. All right, so Tapia being led in by a rapper. Yep. Six great stoppages for Tapia. First main event fight. Longest fight in four rounds. This one is scheduled for ten. The longest fight is four rounds. It's giving me Berlinga. 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 The other, he's another prospect. Bravo! Both fighters now in the ring. Momentarily, we'll have Mark Prado with the introductions. This should be a great main event. Let's head to the ring announcer. Mark Friday. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Soho Hotel here on the boardwalk in the historic fight capital of Atlantic City. This is your main event of the evening, hard boxing on Flow Sports Fight Night Live. This contest scheduled for 10 rounds. It will be contested for the WBA and ABA Super Featherweight Championship. Brought to you by Hard Hitting Promotions and presented by Shatson Steinberg, Novus Truck Parts, Custom Auto Luxury, WR Trucking, Soul Botanicals, Zaragoza Equipment, Green Tree Mortgage, Rico Demolition, Eat Clean Bro, if you're a pro in training or you just want to eat like a world champion, check out Eat Clean Bro, Elite Heat Water, the best fighters, trainers, and announcers just drank the water, and the Showboat Hotel, more than a place to stay, a place to play. Our main event is sanctioned by the North American Boxing Association. The president is George Martinez. It's also sanctioned by the New Jersey Athletic Control Board. The commissioner, Hall of Famer Larry Hazard Sr., the chairman, Tony Orlando, Stephen Katz, board member. The judges scoring our main event title contest, Deborah Barnes, Mark Constantino, and Robin Taylor. And controlling the action at the sound of the bell, the referee in charge is Alan Huggins. And now, live from the showboat here in Atlantic City, 10 rounds for the WBA and ABA Super Featherweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, it's go time! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at a 129 and one quarter pounds. He has an outstanding veteran professional record. 36 victories, 5 defeats, 
25 wins by way of knockout. He wears black with pink and yellow and fights out of Rain, Louisiana. Please welcome the former WBO and ABO lightweight champion, rock hard, mighty Mason Menard. His opponent is undefeated, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at an even and ready 130 pounds. As a professional, his resume stands with 11 victories, zero defeats, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. He wears blue with white and is accompanied in his corner by the legendary Joey I. He hails from Coamo, Puerto Rico. Damas y caballeros, Cristian, el hijo de pueblo. Tapia! All right, so the bout has been set. The main event, the WBA and NABA Super Featherweight title on the line, and your referee tonight will be Alan Huggins for the championship match. Gentlemen, you both received your instructions addressing you. Obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. This is a little high. We're going to keep everything above here is fair. You're about good. Touch gloves, let's go. Alan Huggins has given his instructions. Franchon, here we go. The title Let's bout. Get it. Mason looks in great shape. He's giving rock hard. Round one scheduled for ten. But Tapia has not gone past four rounds. Well, you know it. It's the first time for everything. This is his first <laughs> title fight. It's the first time he's been a main event. But this ain't his first world to go, so. Tapia, the crowd favorite tonight. Man, I think I'm deaf in one ear. That's how lit yeah. the crowd was. From Cuomo, That's an Puerto amazing. Rico. <laughs> That's an amazing feeling. And speaking of feeling, Mason and Tapia are feeling each other out this first round. Trying to see if what it's really about. And Alan Huggins says, no, we're not going to do that. Separate and let's go again. Tapia. Oh, tap. Nice right hand. The overhand right finds Monar. Tapia has found a sweet spot. Using his feet. Using his feet. In the early going, Tapia has found his range and beating Monar to the punch. Yeah, he's not he's not waiting. Again, Tapia, 11 0 with 10 knockouts. 27 year old, fifth year in the pro ranks. Well, it's good development. This is only his, this is his third opponent who has a 50 plus record. But I mean, he's getting in there with someone who has great experience. A win over Mason would definitely raise his profile. Mason Menard, last time out, was a loss, a majority decision loss to Emmanuel Chicago in Florida back in November of 2020. Well, it's good he was staying active, even though 2020 of November, I mean, November of 2020 is a ways back, but to get a fight in 2020 is still a blessing. Yeah, yeah. A difficult year for all sports, especially boxing. But we're back. We're back. We're lit. Atlantic City, hard hitting promotion. Fight Night Live on Flow Combat. This is the seventh and final bout, and this is a championship bout. The WBA and NABA Super Featherweight title on the line. Yes, sir. Tapia, I would give the early edge to here. Mason didn't come to lay down. Like, he's not here to, to just lay down. He's very game. Ten seconds to go here in this first round. And Renard takes a shot from the solar plexus. Two extra punches thrown. And we'll take a timeout here. It is Pro Sports Fight Night Live. 
Tonight's hard-hitting promotions, Fight Night Live event, airing exclusively on Flow Combat, is presented by Zaragoza Equipment. Schatz and Steinberg, Attorneys at Law. Novus Truck Parts. Rico Demolition. Soul Botanicals, the finest Kratom on the planet. Will Ruiz WR uh, Trucking. Two, and Custom Auto Luxury. In association with Green Tree Mortgage Company. Round two, Mason Menard and Christian Tapia. I would give Tapia the edge in round number one. Yeah. Once he found his range, he started letting his combination go. He was beating Mason to the punch. Mason's looking to redeem himself this second round. He's scheduled for a 10-rounder. And when you're fighting someone who's used to going long rounds, Sometimes it takes a little longer to warm up. Alan Huggins wants Tapia to raise those punches up just a bit. Ooh. Tapia in the corner now. Menard trying to find his range. Tapia working the body and then the head. A short uppercut. And you can tell Tappy is pretty strong. Nice uppercut with a hook and a short shot. Christian Tapia, six straight stoppage wins, 4 0 record in Puerto Rico. 6-0 in Philadelphia, 1-0 in Atlantic City. Well, Mason's been in there with some current world champions, so he's had his, you know, walk around the block. Unfortunately, he suffered a first round KO to Tiafima Lopez, and it looks like he might get a KO right now. Tapia working now on Menard against the ropes. Oh, Two straight right hands to the chin. Tapia now, the left and the right. To the body. The crowd wants blood. Right hand, left hand. Menard just taking the punches and comes out of it. And try to sneak a shot in. It's not looking too good, backing up on the ropes. But he's a veteran, so he's trying to use KZ Trick. Nice right cross right there and an uppercut and that puts Menard on the canvas. He is down on his stomach. The cap from Alan Huggins and this one's over. Christian Tapia with a knockout of Mason Menard and Tapia moves to 12 and 0 with 11 knockouts. What a heck of a combination. That gave me Bernard Oh. And from there, it was just chaos. It was an onslaught. The uppercut put Menard down and put him down for good. He is still on his back. And now they're attending to him. And Mason Menard moves to 36 and 6. That's still, a, that's still a, not a bad record. I mean, because. Not a bad record, but he doesn't feel that good right now. Yeah. That's a heck of a of a punch combo from Christian Tapia. As I said, now moved to 12 and 0 with 11 knockouts. I love the combination, how he put everything together. It was very strategic. Several shots to the left part of the head, the right part of the head, and then the uppercut did the final day.